All right, so I think we'll try to squeeze in two Stokes theorems examples. This will be the, the first of those two examples. Um, so here we have a typical problem. We want to calculate the line integral around a closed path of some vector field. So here's our vector field, here's our curve. Um, so the curve is this triangle going between from 1, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0 to 0, 0, 1 and back again. Um, now, we could parameterize each of those three components, right? They're all straight lines. We know how to parameterize a line. Uh, we could set things up. It actually wouldn't be too bad. Each piece is relatively straightforward, uh, but it's a little tedious because you have three pieces. Um, so one of the things you might do is you might say, well, the curve is closed. So that curve does bound a surface, right? It bounds this, this plane. We know what that plane is. It's x plus y plus z equals 1, okay? So we know that we have, uh, we have that surface there being bounded by the curve. Um, so one of the things that you might look at when you, when you have a problem like this, you realize that your curve is a boundary. Stokes' theorem applies. So let's compute the curl, right? Let's compute the curl of f and see if Stokes' theorem is going to be worthwhile, right? Maybe, maybe the surface integral is harder, and, and this isn't worth our trouble. But it's worth the minute that it takes to calculate the curl to see whether this is going to be worthwhile. So i, j, k, x derivative, y derivative, z derivative, OK? x plus y squared, y plus z squared, z plus x squared. We work out the curl. What do we get? Um, we get, um, so this is going to be 0. That's going to be minus 2z. OK. Um, then in the middle, we do this way. That's 0 minus 2x. OK, minus 2x. And then finally, 0 minus 2y. OK. So there's our curl. That looks pretty simple. This looks like maybe something that's worth trying, right? Um, OK. So now, so now we have to decide if we're going to apply Stokes' theorem, we've got to decide how we want to set up the surface, right? Um, so I think one option here is we could probably treat the surface as a graph, OK? <clears throat> so we could say, OK, z is 1 minus x minus y. Um, and so then that means that my parameterization is going to be x, y, 1 minus x minus y. Okay. Um, now, one of the things we want to do is we want to, you know, because we've chosen a parameterization, we know what a normal, we know the normal vector is 1, 1, 1, right? And that's pointing out this way. And that is the correct norm. We, we want this upward orientation, right? That will give us the positively oriented boundary going around. So we got to check, make sure that we have the right orientation, right? Um, so we kind of go off on the side, and we're like, OK, um, let's see. So the, the x vector is going to be 1, 0, minus 1. The y vector, 0, 1, minus 1. So the normal vector is going to be uh, 0, minus, minus is going to be 1, right? And then 0, 1, OK? And then 1. Ah, it's the right one, OK? Good, good, OK? Um, so we've got the right normal vector. We've got our parameterization. So we can set up the integral. We can use Stokes theorem. So Stokes theorem now is going to say that <coughs> the integral around c of f dot dr is the same thing as the integral over s of the curl dot ds. And we're going to parameterize. Ah, parameter domain, right? What's our parameter domain? Our, our parameter domain is this rectangle, or sorry, this triangle down here in the xy plane, right? So that triangle is, is this one. So we might say that uh, x is between 0 and 1, and y is between 0 and x. 
We can do it the other way around. You got to pick one. Let's, let's do it that way, okay? So what we get is integral from 0 to 1, from 0 to x of our vector field. So it's minus 2 times z, 1 minus x minus y, okay? Minus 2x minus 2y dotted with the normal, 1, 1, 1, dy, dx. Okay, got to multiply that all out. Let's have a look and <clears throat> see what we get. 0, 1, 0, x. Um, so we're dotting them all with 1s. We just got to add all this up. So minus 2 plus 2x plus 2y minus 2x minus 2y. Oh, well. Minus 2. Ha. Huh. You probably don't even need to do the integral, right? It's a triangle. What's the area of the triangle? Base 1, height 1. 1 half base times height. We get a half. Half times a minus 2. So we get minus 1 for that integral. Okay? So that's, I think, in this case, this is less work than parametrizing all three boundary components setting it all up and doing the, doing the line integral directly. Um, if you want to confirm that Stokes' theorem is valid, feel free to actually go ahead and do the line integral and confirm that you get the same result. All right. We'll end with one last example, and uh, that's going to be it for the videos for, for Calc 4 this semester.